you can probably guess we're on Hoth. We are here because we are in search of one very specific and very rare lichen. It's the alumni lichen. Uh, and there is a fungal component to this that is very, um, let's say, expensive, magical, um, and very coveted. So we're going to see if we can do that. Now on a planet like Hoth, you may wonder, is there really any fungal growth going on? There really is, actually. Fungi are actually really hardy organisms and they can handle extreme cold like this. Uh, fungal spores especially, they can basically go dormant in you know, sub-zero temperatures uh, and then when the conditions are right they can you know, come back to life. They can also withstand really extreme conditions like drying out and extreme heat. Uh, so actually there are lots and lots of fungal spores that are here on this planet and sometimes they do end up producing fruiting bodies as well. Well some people may think there's not enough life on this ice cube to fill a space cruise the truth is, if you get out and explore, you can find plenty of things, and that's what we're going to do. So, on Hoth, there are these certain locations where there are volcanic fissures. And if we find these locations where there's these like cracks, that's where we're going to find uh, the depth that we need to go to get down to find this special lichen fungi species that we're looking for oh my gosh <laughs> it's up to my waist <laughs> we go on now most of you might be concerned anywhere where there could be cracks or caves naturally you're gonna think uh oh wampa gotta stay out of there but you know what they're the least of our worries <laughs> We can get past them really easy. And I've actually been monitoring this site all season. No wampa activity, so we should be fine. But the real issue is the slugs, the dragon slugs. Fire breathing slug creatures that can eat an entire human. They're the real danger. So, wampas, no big deal. Dragon slugs, another story. I've caught my breath a little bit and I see a spot that I think is going to be the safest for us to go down. There's this huge just crevasse right here and we're going to slowly carefully make our way down the rocks uh, into the depths of the Hoth surface uh, where this uh, alumni lichen is hopefully going to be trying to avoid the slugs. Um, definitely our most dangerous mission that we've been on so far. All right. As we get a little bit further down, you're going to notice there are some trees uh, and that could easily give our location away, uh, especially if you're familiar with the geography of Hoth. Um, so we're in one of three places potentially on Hoth, um, but um, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be safe from anyone watching this video, any smugglers who might want to come down. Uh, and potentially uh, get into this area and destroy any habitat or anything like that. We did our due diligence to cover our tracks, so we're going to be all right. This is scary! This is like really scary! So one reason I picked this location specifically is the amount of volcanic activity that's happening under the surface. I mean, this is all about a volcanic fissure here. Um, but because of the volcanic activity, you'll notice that we've got um, kind of like a river flowing. Um, so the closer that we get to the core, the deeper down we go, the more water there's going to be. And this is actually one of the conditions is great in order to find this lichen. And <laughs> I think I see the hole I need to crawl down into uh, to get deeper. Oh my 
my gosh, you guys. <laughs> we hit like the total jackpot. Wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so, this is it. This is the Lumni Lichen. So, uh, it, typically what's done is, is it's harvested and there's a drying process you can do, but there's also an extraction process where you extract the fungal portion of it and it turns into uh, Lumni Spice is what it's called. In the spice is the most coveted in all the galaxy. Uh, understandably, because it's incredibly hard to get to, rare to find. Uh, this stuff takes ages to grow. I mean, looking at the size of this, I would say that nobody else has ever found this location before. Um, just based off the sizes of these kind of like, these chunks are <laughs> growing off of here. Uh, I'm gonna get my knife. Uh, I'm gonna harvest some of this. All right, cool. I don't like the cool, whatever. Look at this. Oh yeah. You'll notice I didn't bring a basket today. It's not really conducive to the environment. I do have some burlap, which is nice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Cut versus pluck. <laughs> Cut versus pluck. In this say, in this case, dig. <laughs> Isn't this one so pretty? Like, it's got like a geode-looking thing going on with it. Pretty amazing. Look at that. So I, I mentioned uh, that you have to look out for the dragon slugs. Uh, they eat this. This is their primary food source is this, and that's actually one reason why they grow to be such large sizes, the slugs. Um, and it's just, they're kind of like natural gatekeepers. So <laughs> this makes it really dangerous to look for this. Um, back on earth, you'll, you'll notice that slugs are one of the many things that, uh, that really love mushrooms and fungi and slime molds and stuff. So. Not too much different here on Hoth, except the size and the fire breathing. I guess that's different too. There are other fungal and mushroom and lichen type things that also grow on Hoth. It's just that this has some pretty extreme conditions that it needs to grow under. Uh, if you think about the fact that there are other uh, creatures and a, a little tiny bit of biodiversity here, uh, you can get things um, like Onigena. Uh, in the Pacific Northwest where I'm from, Onigiva corniva, I think that's how you say it, uh, is a species of fungi that grow on things uh, like hair or on hooves of horses uh, or on antlers and horns. Um, so if you think about um, the tauntaun, uh, it's a perfect example of some kind of creature that um, as it's decaying, it could have that kind of fungus growing on it. So it's very likely that a similar species also grows here. And uh, that being said, uh, tauntauns themselves, they're actually lizards. They have like a lizard skin underneath the fur. And reptiles are incredibly susceptible to fungal disease. Um, so that being said, you know that there's going to be some fungal diversity when they have uh, those kind of creatures living on a planet. This, though, obviously the rarest of them all, uh, and the conditions for it to grow are uh, just in, just almost impossible to create the conditions, and that's why you have to go and find it out in the wild. Uh, one factor is that it cannot be exposed at all to a hoth's blue-white sunlight, uh, and so that's why you have to literally go to the depths of the planet in order to find it, which we did. Um, but yeah, there's also other fungal diversity here. We just happen to find the best of the best. A friend of mine actually owns a spice mine um, and he's doing some citizen science work. Uh, so some of this will go to him. Precious cargo. <gasps> okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Mission accomplished. Uh, we shouldn't spend too much more time here, uh, but I'm so glad you guys got to come along and take a look at the incredible uh, alumni lichen, uh, which uh, what we're gonna do with it is kind of gonna be top secret. Maybe you'll see it in some future projects. We'll see. But we have a couple of light years to go at the end of the day to our next destination. So we gotta be on our way. We gotta go.